has this loan spell away from Exeter given you a kind of a bit of a different perspective on on your career as a whole? A, a first sort of step away from St James's. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's been been good to learn how uh, different clubs operate and um, how different managers want you to play, and I've enjoyed that. I've enjoyed um, experiencing something new, so it's definitely helped my career. Clearly, you, you could have stayed at Exeter and tried to battle for a place. D do you think that it's opened your eyes a little bit in terms of what might follow beyond the end of this season? Um, I mean, I played a lot of games at Exeter at the start of the season, and and the manager just did say to me that I could stay and play for my place, but he also said it, he thought it'd be a good idea for me to get games um, elsewhere. So, I mean. I'm still an Exeter player and I'll, I'm sure I'll go back there next season, but um, yeah, I mean, it definitely opens your eyes to new opportunities, I guess. Are you settled enough in Devon that a move away probably isn't on the cards? Um, yes, yeah, so, uh, well, I've got family that live down there as well and um, I mean, I'm an Exeter player, so I'm committed until I'm told otherwise. Uh, Michael, has some of the players have said that Michael defensively has brought in some nuggets of information, some methods, some tips that they haven't learned from any other coach. Is, is that the same with you in, in a defensive role within the team? Yeah, he's, um, I sort of, my, my career's sort of been based on the defensive side. I think he's sort of, he's probably helped my attacking side probably more than I would have thought coming here. So, I, I mean, it's probably been the other way for me, but he's definitely helped me with my defensive as well. I mean, the team looks stronger. I think the last few home games, I think, have especially showed that with the, the amount of goals that we conceded has been very few. And um, I mean, uh, since even before I was here, the the defence at home especially seems very strong. So, I mean, they're definitely as a team getting getting better. And I think as collectively, I think we're all doing better under the manager. And is the role that you've settled into the one that you are absolutely happiest with? Yeah, I mean, that's my position. I like playing there and, um, I mean, I sort of played there quite a lot now and and getting, I think it's about eight games I've played now for Cheltenham and I'm starting to, to understand the players more and, and understand what the manager wants for me and I think that we're starting to click a bit more again. You played against Northampton for extra early in the season. What did you think of them then? Uh, good side, yeah. I've, I've played against Keith uh, Curl's side quite a lot at Carlisle and um, he's a good manager. He's had a he's had a good career, and um, I'm sure he'd be looking to push on up the league. And I think they can still go for playoffs. So I mean, it's going to be a tough game for us. We need the points as well, and um, I'm sure it's going to be a good game. Can you explain the the difference in the home and away form at the minute? Because that is a curious split, isn't it? Uh, I don't think there's a lot in it. To be honest, I think we've played probably sometimes better away from home than we have at home at times. But it's. Um, it's just going to click, I think, at some point. We've just got to keep doing the things the manager asks from us and I'm sure it'll be fine. Psychologically, though, when you've had such a good run at home, do you turn up on a match day and think, right, you know, yeah, we can tick off another win today? Um, I, don't know. I think you feel like that every time you go and play a game. If, if you didn't feel confident to win, I think you put yourself down. So, um, I mean, we're, I think the home form key because it's, it's sort of your patch and you want to defend it, so... I think you have that element, I guess, yeah. Uh, 45 points at the moment. Um, I said to Michael that we talk e endlessly about you know, how many points do you need, what are the targets. Is he setting smaller targets for you, different targets to just points? Um, we're just taking it game by game at the moment and hopefully we can win this Saturday and then that's another three points for us. So, I mean, I think there, I think there's eight games left. So, we've just got to keep winning the next game. So, in other words, is it all points driven or is it performance driven and even elements of performance driven? I think if you play well, you'll get results, won't you? So, I mean, the manager's key on the performances. So he wants you to play well and um, as players, you want to just win games. So, you've got to try and get, get a mixture of both. Thank you. Uh, have you been a bit surprised the situation that Cheltenham found themselves in at the start of the season? Obviously, they weren't doing so well, but given how you've performed, especially at home, mm. has it been surprising the kind of... The predicament they found themselves. Um, oh, when I was at Exeter, we played them early on in the season, and I can remember the first half, especially they outplayed. I think it was one of the manager's first games. I'm not sure, but I mean, I wasn't surprised that they'll do well in the end. I think it's just a matter of time before they really kick on again. So yeah. 
And the manager's mentioned a lot about the framework and the different phases that you go through in training. Has that been, obviously you mentioned there's been a few different things that you've learned from men that you probably haven't learned from other managers, but has that been particularly effective, like the framework that you work on in training, in terms yeah. of a defensive point of view especially? Yeah, it sort of gives you a platform to play. Um, he gives you the um, like the platform to start from and then it's down to the players to to perform that. So, I mean, um, he's definitely given us every chance to, to go out and perform and I think we've done that the last few games. I think the players have, have done what he's asked. And for the remainder of this season, when you go out starting games, is it thinking about potentially future here but potentially future elsewhere based on your performances? I think every footballer's thinking like that. I think they're, they're all fighting for their careers and, and I'm no different to anyone else. I want to have a long career in football and, and that means playing well on a consistent basis.